Matt Hayter has a win over the Viking Grim. Controversial though it may be. Matt Hayter has a win over world-class Chris Basso. Again, under controversial circumstances. But tonight's match is for all the marbles. Matt Hayter should be the Riot City Wrestling Champion. If it wasn't for an incompetent referee's decision, he would have won. Tonight might be Matt Hayter's step back toward that supposed purported championship win. Because if he wins this match tonight, he will be named the number one contender to the RCW Championship and go on to face Rocky Monero next month at Rocktoberfest. Well, whoever wins this, Sean, goes on to face Rocky. And we heard the rule tonight, one and done. You get one chance. If you're not successful, you're out the door. I can't believe the general manager, Luke Santa Maria agreed to that. It well, means that people get a title shot, yes. But then if you lose to Rocky Monero, you don't get another one for a full calendar year. Sean, 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 what you're failing to remember is he who has the gold makes the rules. Matt Hayter there showing off, I think, his brand new trunks by Zumbo Blackheart cosplay. No, absolutely not. He's just making sure that uh, Michael Kent is welcome to check him always around to make sure he's not carrying any illegal objects. Have you uh, noticed how orange Hayter's legs are? They kind of remind me of a sitting US president. So you all want to cheer for Chris Basso, yeah? yeah? That's really cute, Mr. World Class, yeah? yeah? Well, baby, I've got news for everyone in attendance because I am the World Class Ego. Yeah. And after tonight, I will be the new Riot City Wrestling number one. like he could hear us. There you go, Sean. Plain as day. Should have been the champion. He called it. The real man's champion. Certainly the ethical man's champion, Sean. So not your champion, then? I'm ethical. Ethics is a you know, universal decision and definition. You don't get to make up your own ethics. It's all about perception, Sean. Basso now. <laughs> Hayter did not perceive that. Oh my god. No love lost between these men. Hayter has spent a month calling Basso fat. Basso has spent a month calling Hayter boy. Trying to get under each other's skin, Sean. Now the time for talking is over. And the time for kicking in faces has begun. It seems that way, Sean. I can't think of someone that has made as much impact, as much noise in Riot City upon debuting as Matt Hayter. He has certainly changed the complete complexion of this company. There's only one person I can think of that's probably made a bigger impact to Riot City when they first uh, showed up on the scene. Oh yeah, who's that? Uh, that would be the difference, Tyler Daniels, Sean. Oh, you should have seen that coming. Well, I mean, let's face it, tonight's a very special night because on his first year, he won the key to the City match. Why are you talking about yourself in the third person? Well, there's enough for me to talk about. Basso. Oh, my God. Just Smashing him into the barriers. Absolutely. Swung him around, side on, into the barriers. Showing no remorse there for Matt Hayter. The spiritual home of RCW, the Latvian Hall, 
place where Chris Basso has won his, some of his four championships with this company. If ever there was a home field advantage, this is the night. Beautiful DD to Caught him on the way in there. And it took out very early on. Whoever wins this goes on to face Rocky Monero at Rocktoberfest. Neither man a stranger to the icon. Hayter having faced him very recently. Absolutely. And of course, Basso having that match that ended in controversial circumstances with Rocky feigning that head injury. Absolutely. Either way, we've got a lot to look forward to next, next show. However, we haven't even got through this show. That's right. One of these two men must come away with the win in order to stake their claim to the path to the goal. Hayter now tying Basso up. Just a modified, looks like he's going for a modified surfboard. Absolutely. Oh! Oh, driving both of Chris Basso's knees into the canvas there, short. And a short leg DDT there. Absolutely. Taking out that vertical base. This is the thing about Matt Hayter. He talks a good game, and then he wrestles a good game to match that talk. Well, that's the thing. He's young, he's cocky, he has a huge ego. He has a game plan that backs that up too, though. And he's dangerous. He is. Just think how dangerous he's going to be when he has the experience level of someone like Chris Basso. That is a truly frightening thought. Those patented Basso chops. Double palm strike to the throat. Hater there outsmarting, outwitting, and out whatever that was, Chris Basso. It's a uh, it's a frontal pelvic thrust. Right, right. I'll add that one to my uh, wrestling repertoire dictionary, shall I? Absolutely. Joey Ryan will be proud of that. A little bit of dong style here in Adelaide. And that chop is worthy of a basso right there. Hayter rolling out of the way, comes back. Catches Chris Basso, puts him on the top right now. Oh, and a back chop. Nasty back chop and ties him up in the tree of woe. Oh, look at the disrespect. Chris Basso is firing back from the tree of woe. They are trading slaps here, sure. And now kicks as well. It's uh, not exactly Porescu, but definitely some fighting spirit on display. Absolutely, sure. Basso needs to get out of that tree of woe. Hater, whoa, turns it into a stunner. Always the innovator is world-class Chris Basso. Absolutely, sat up, caught Matt Hater on the way in and was able to affect that into an offensive move. Locks it, fires back, and again. You don't want to get into a striking match with Chris Basso. Tomahawk chop, and again. World class is feeling it, winding up. First net breaker there, Sean. He is so dangerous when he's in the zone like this. The four-time champ wants to make it five. Got to get through Hayden to do it. And looks to be doing it in fine form right now. Hayden could be out of it. Absolutely. Huge back suplex. One, two. Only a two count though. Props to the strength and resilience of Matt Hayden there. That was a true onslaught from world class because Absolutely. Basel. Absolutely. Three, four, five offensive moves all at once. Basso now adding some sauce. That'll mark you new tights. Right in the world-class ego, Sean. Oh! Right in the world-class forehead there. Hayter using the ropes to his advantage. Steps through. Beautiful. New number one contender? No. 
A hair's breadth away there, Sean. A hair's breadth away. I honestly cannot call it, Tyler Daniels. I cannot call who is going to come away with the victory in this. It is too close. And I never thought I would say that about somebody in a match with world-class Chris Basso. As I say, the cornerstone of Australian wrestling. And yet, this is too close to call. You just don't know, Sean. The one thing that Hayter has is somehow through his resilience and perseverance, he always seems to have some way to counter and get a little bit of a breather. He's able to turn the tide so quickly. Chop straight to the heart there. You would very much take the wind out of your sails, give Basso time. Not as much as he would have liked. Might have been going for that Spanish fly. Cut off there by Hayter. Oh! Hayter is in dangerous territory right now. Absolutely he is. Could it be? Yes, he's got it. Spanish fly! Hayter rotated almost well, for 450 degrees there. Almost into a seated position. Landed right Chris, on his world-class ego. Chris Basso seems to hurt himself at the same time. Seems to be throwing the elbow, maybe. Oh, come on, we cannot have this match end in a no contest. We need a number one contender. Otherwise, Monero is going to claim he gets next month off as well. Here we go, cover. Basso's going home with it. No! Not yet, Sean, not yet. So very close. Both men now firing away. Both have the same idea there, Sean. And again. The last thing either will, of them will admit is they are so very similar. Basso was very cocky and egotistical at the same age, especially during his alliance with Team Eastman. Maybe that's why he wants to beat Hater up so much. Oh, it's broken out into a fight in the middle of this wrestling match. It certainly has. No. Oh, knee to the head. Spin kick to the head. Those educated feet of world class. Absolutely. Trying for a half and half suplex, couldn't get it. Straight to the back of the head. He got it. There it is. Oh, Hayter is not in a good way. Not at all, Sean. Basso revving up, cleans him up with that. Turned him inside out. That's Here we go. One, one two, three. Oh. Senior rifle, hey, Michael Kent confirming a two count. Only two there. Crowd can't quite believe it. Coming next, Sean. Oh! There is absolutely no call for that in this sport. That is disgusting. Truly a low act getting its comeuppance. And I think Hayter might have finally made a very grave mistake. Oh! The viciousness of Basso, we haven't seen that unleashed in a while. Might have knocked him completely unconscious. That certainly sparked something in Chris Basso there. He's not impressed by that whatsoever. You do not spit at a man, ever. He's looking at a Springbird moonsault, but caught the knees there by Matt Hayter. Hayter now. Whoa! Springboard DDT. This could be a chill right there, one. Two, three, foot on the ropes. Michael Kent counted the three, oh. but he is saying it's a foot on the ropes. Two. Well, that Sean, I had fans in front of me. I did not see that foot on the ropes. I thought that was the end of the match. That Michael Kent actually hit the three count as he saw the foot on the ropes. Unbelievable. That was so very close. Unbelievable this match continues, Sean. Your ears did not deceive you, but that was not a legitimate three count. Oh! Hayter going back to the legs. What the hell was that? 
was a cannibal type move while Chris Vasso was stuck on the second turnbuckle. A double knee strike in the corner. Absolutely, and straight out. Back to that DDT. No! Chris Vasso able to throw him off. What's this? Buckle bomb! Power bomb. We saw this last show, Sean. No! Man, hate it. Two's one. Two! Still a two count. Somehow Chris Basso rolls out of it. Hayter still on the offensive. Basso catches him with the knee. We know what he wants. Spin power bomb. Sit down one. He's got it. Two. No, no. Two count only. Hayter's feet actually kicked Michael Kent's hands away. Absolutely. I'm not sure how he managed that, but Matt Hayter is still alive. This match continues yet again. This is how much that number one contendership matters. It is so important right now. A guaranteed show at Rocky Monero next month at Rocktoberfest. October 11 HQ. Basso trying there for the Sega Mega Driver. Can't get it. Almost a gory special. Oh! One, two, no! Even that! Some kind of gory special vertebrae combo there. Yeah, absolutely, and then held him into the pin straight from that, and Chris Basso has somehow got his shoulders off the mat in time. I, I do not know how either of these men I are still going. I was say the same thing, Sean. I don't know how they're still doing this. Crowd cheering in appreciation of an incredible display of wrestling acumen. Both men have backed up all the taunting, all the teasing, all the bad feeling, but only one can come away with the victory. Super kick caught by Basso, pushing to the ropes. Catches Matt Hayden on the shoulder now. Turns it into, what is this? Oh my God! Almost an inverted gory special one, two, no! Are you kidding me? Chris Basso is bewildered, Sean. There's I'm no bewildered. Bewildered. He cannot believe that Matt Hader has somehow kicked out of that. This is absolutely awesome. This is an incredible contest. We are privileged to see it here. And just think, hey, this is how hard they fight for a shot at the championship. How hard are they going to fight Rocky Monero? Will they have anything left to fight Rocky Monero, sure. Basso, what is he doing? No. Hey, to turn it into a pin. No, but Chris Basso hangs on. Can he get him up into Good the Mega up. Driver? No. Hater fighting out of it. Oh, super on the by door. Basso. Basso now has him up. Mega Driver. Cover. He got him. was a true epic of the squared circle. Regardless of, e of the ego, of the world class, whatever it is, either man absolutely would have earned that victory and Chris Basso earned every inch of that. He deserves the victory. I tell you what, that could have honestly gone either way a number of times, Sean. Absolutely. If you did not know Matt Hayter before this, you will never forget him. If you did not know world class Chris Basso, then you're looking at the man that could be a five-time RCW champion. Well, now we're going to see next month, Rocktoberfest, October 11th, Chris Basso, Rocky Monero, one more time for the title.